Hey, hey everyone, it's Jolene with the Homestitchery Decor YouTube channel. This video is part three in the series of what I can make with a tablecloth, a single tablecloth that I purchased from my local winners slash home goods store. And so far I made a video for how to make an envelope pillow and I'll link that one here and for how to make a table runner and that video will be right here. And now I decided uh, while I was at it, I might as well make some stockings. Um, so if you look around my office here today, I do have quite a few of them done. I did them up already um, and now I'm going to show you how to make them. I chose to make mine with fur and I'm using my AccuQuilt Studio machine again for this one. All you need though is a stocking pattern with a cuff and there are lots of free PDF downloads all over the internet if you're looking for one of those. I'll maybe try to make one on my website one day and if I do I will link it into uh, the video description here. But basically any stocking that has a cuff with it you'll be able to do this with. Now I am part of a few AccuQuilt uh, groups because I'm an affiliate for AccuQuilt. I sell the products and I will link the machine and the die and everything for you guys in the uh, description so you can get it if you want to. And I know that a lot of people have complained about uh, this not being actually um, designed to be aligned stocking. And so I've worked out the fix for that and I'm going to show you in this video. So you can do this lined or unlined. I'm going to show you how to do it the lined way. Okay, so I have an AccuQuilt Studio machine. They have home versions of this as well. This is the stocking die that I have and it obviously is a monster. They're even heavy to pick up. Look how thick that is with the wood and there's a stocking here and the cuff for it. I'm actually not even going to use the cuff uh, because I've chosen to uh, do a fur cuff on mine and so I'll show you how to cut that out. Uh, so the first thing you're going to need is um, the pattern. You're going to need some fabric and in this case this is the same tablecloth, the one tablecloth that I purchased and that I keep making into more and more projects. Um, to have this lined, I'm also going to use this cotton muslin and I just buy it, um, you can buy it by the meter, I buy it by the bolt. And I also have this uh, fun fur left over. So I'm going to use this as well. And then the most important thing other than the dye and the pattern to cut it out is going to be this thing called the purple thing. And I will have everything linked in the video description so you guys can use it easy peasy. Um, someday I'm going to have my own stockings, um, like the actual sewing kits. And once those are up, I will link them into the video description and then you can just shop the kits and then you won't need any of this. You'll just be able to buy the kits right off of me. Okay, so th we have the, um, the material here and I've got, it's, there's quite a bit of it left actually off of that one tablecloth and it's quite pretty. So I thought, okay, well, what else could I make with this um, material? So I'm just going to fold it up and I want to see if I can get four cuts of the stocking out of this and we'll just see here. Let's get everything lined up straight. When you're cutting this stocking, you're going to have to make sure that uh, the top of the pattern is at the top opening of the stocking. Otherwise, uh, it'll be off a little bit. And I know that this is going to work now. So I'm just going to lay it over top of the die, make sure that I've got all the edges covered, make sure that my fabric is laying down, you know, straight, as straight as possible. And I am not going to cut uh, a, a cuff. I'm just going to cut the stocking here. So put my piece of plastic over top of my die and roll it through the other side. If you're not familiar with AccuQuilt, it's basically, oops, there goes my water bottle. <laughs> and there goes my iron, oops. Okay, so I only have a little bit of this fabric left, so you guys get to see all the accidents we have here today too. I think the iron will live. I've done worse things to it. And the water bottle didn't leak, so that's good. And I'll just put that over there now. Okay, so once um, we roll it out the other side, the fabric has been pushed down onto that metal die. And you'll see here, I now have 
four cuts of the stocking. So I will have two uh, stockings out of this. And ideally when I do things, I'm just going to move this because I don't want to get it get smacked again. Um, when I do things for putting on my uh, website, you know, to list as a product for sale, I like to do multiples. So I will do uh, four of these if I can. I won't bore you, but yes, I will be able to cut out another one here and I'll do that after the video. And then the next thing I'm going to do is just repeat the process for the cotton muslin. And I already had went ahead and did that um, because I don't like to bore you guys too much. And so right now I'm just going to take a break and we're going to move the AccuQuilt out of the way. Okay, so we've got our three pieces that we're going to need for this project. We've got the cotton muslin and there's no uh, right side to this. So I can just set those two aside for sewing in a minute. This is the actual tablecloth and these ones need to be right side together. So I'll go ahead and do that. And at this point you can pin this as well if you like. I find it's pretty easy. I've done so many of them. I don't really have to pin anymore. So I'll set that to the side. And then the next thing that we're going to need is our fur cuff here. Now, this is where things can get a little bit tricky. I'm just going to grab a ruler. I know that I've been cutting them um, about eight inches wide for the finished project here. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've already cut this one eight inches and I'm going to turn it sideways here. And then I'm going to show you my trick for how to cut fun fur. So I want my cuff for this uh, to be about four inches. So what I'm going to do is I need to have uh, an over, like a, a folded seam here. So I'm going to make this four and a half inches. So one, two, three, four and a half. And then you can't just sew on fun fur because it just sews it down and it looks terrible. And you can see the seam. So I got this thing called the purple thing. You can get them on Amazon. I will link them in the video description. And this is the handiest little thing for this project. So you just keep drawing a line until you don't feel the fur pulling and then you can turn it upside down this way and run it back the other way and once you feel like you've got enough of this just push the fur over with your hand until it's flat as can be and then we're going to cut this with our rotary cutter And then we need two of those. So we're just going to repeat the process. And I just want to point out here too, that your fur has to be facing the right direction. So the fur, I want it to be facing down for my stocking, not up. Uh, so this is where I, I am cutting it this way. One, two, three, four and a half again. Keep drawing a line here and scoop out the extra. And then push this all up with your hand and now cut. And we're just going to leave these off to the side for a minute while we sew the other portion of this project. All right, for this next step, we're going to sew all the way around the stocking and we're going to leave the top of it open. So I'm just using a straight stitch. I haven't even bothered to pin um, because I'm, I can just freehand this. You just need to have the edges lined up. So this part is pretty quick and easy. Round and round we go. Make sure your fabric's lined up all the way around. Just 
call this real life sewing. This is what actually happens in my craft studio. I knock over things. It is so crammed in here right now. I'm just a couple weeks away from Christmas markets and things are getting crowded. To say the least, I think I'm actually losing my mind a little bit because I do not like this much clutter. Driving me bonkers. Okay, so we can pull this one off to the side. We're done with that for just a second. You'll see how quick this goes. And now we've got our cotton muslin and we're going to do the same thing except for we're going to leave an opening at the bottom. A little bit of an opening and when we get there I'll show you how it's done. So start at the top, do a little uh, back stitch there just to make sure everything's secure. And I like to go just to the line of my uh, presser foot here. So just a nice quarter inch seam. And again, I have not pinned this, but you can go ahead and pin if you feel uh, that you need that. Okay, right here, I'm going to leave an opening quite big. Uh, so I'm just going to backstitch a couple here and I'm going to pull the needle up and I'm not, you don't even have to clip this yet. You can just pull the threads to the back and, you know, leave a good size opening here at the toe of the stocking because you're going to need to slip a couple fingers through there to turn this inside out in a second. So anything that you want to clip off for extra threads now is a good time to do that. All right, this part looks confusing. It sounds confusing, but it's really quite simple. We have our stocking with the right sides of the fabric sewn together. We have our insert sewn together with a hole in the toe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slip my hand inside the insert here, and I'm going to stuff the stocking with it, just like this. So I'm just gonna push my stocking right into the edge of the stocking inside, so now we've got a little bag situation going on here. Now, if you like at this point, you could iron your seams flat. I didn't find that quite necessary. This fabric was super thin. So I'm just gonna line up my seams and line up the edge as best I can. And then I've taken um, the casing off of my sewing machine here. And I've got the sleeve of it just open so my stocking will be able to sit in underneath here and I'll be able to sew this round. So we're going to sew all the way around sewing the insert to the stocking. I've got everything lined up here quite nicely. If this was thicker fabric I would say definitely uh, press your seams open so you don't have a lot of bulk there. Uh, but this is fairly thin fabric and I don't feel that's necessary. Also bear in mind that I sew for a living. Uh, so some of the things that I do are obviously, you know, a little bit above the be beginner sewing and doing things like pinning and making sure that your seams are open are perfectly acceptable. That is definitely how I started out. I've just been going at this a little bit longer. And because I do this, you know, all day, every day, <laughs> Um, I've learned a trick or two. All right, so we're just going to sew this all the way around. Pretty easy. Do a little reverse stitch where you started. Pull it off the machine and clip your threads. Now, once you've clipped your threads, what you need to do is turn this all inside out. So first off, we're going to pull your lining away from your stocking. Now, it looks a little weird here um, because your stocking is still inside out. But don't worry, we're going to find this hole that we made in the foot. And we're just going to open it up. And now we're going to go fishing. So. I don't like to, to make it too big, but basically I just pull the fabric up 
I've got a couple of fingers stuck in here and we're just gonna find the toe here on the good part of the stocking and pull it all the way through. And then once we're done that, you're gonna see an opening here. And obviously you don't want that um, because you don't want your Christmas oranges falling through the hole of your liner. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sew up this hole here. So I just start a couple of inches to where the opening started, put in a couple of stitches, do a little reverse stitch, and then sew past where it started here. Reverse stitches, pull it off the machine and clip the threads. And now you'll see the stocking looks like this, which is still just a huge mess. <laughs> now we're going to push the lining into the actual stocking. So just push it with your fingers you could have a turning tool at this point or my favorite tool, which is a chopstick. And we'll turn it all this way. And now, you know, it's a little bit rough around the edges. So I'm going to iron the seams flat. So I just have my mini ironing board out for this project. And this is gonna be your best friend here. This is actually a seam ripper. Um, but what I do when I want my seams to line up perfectly. If anything's not coming out just right, just reach my seam ripper in here a little bit and pull the edge out and then hold it down with my fingers until it's laying quite flat. And then I get my iron in here. So pretty easy. Just go ahead and iron all the way around the stocking until you have a nice crisp edge. Now that we've got our stocking ironed out perfectly, we'll come back to working on our fun fur. Um, as mentioned, it has to uh, be carefully done because you want the fur to be going the correct direction when you put it down on your stocking. So for right now, I'm gonna push all the fur down straight just to make sure I've got the grain of it going the right way or the literally just how would you say that with fur I don't even know I know there's a word for it because it, it's how you groom dogs <laughs> but anyway okay so I now I need to do a little seam here so I'm just going to measure down three quarters of an inch and I'm going to do the same thing with this purple thing and make my line and pull the fur out and then I'm going to fold this over and make a little hem and you'll see what I mean here in a second. So do that for both pieces. And this thing is just the bee's knees. Honestly, they, they don't have to be expensive. I will put the link in um, for the cheap ones. I think one time at the quilt store, I spent like, I think it was like 15 or $16 for this silly thing. And then I found another resource and boy, I'm glad that I did. Okay. so. Just make your line here again, pull the fur out, and I'll meet you at the machine. Okay, so we've got our fur here. You can see that there's a distinct line where I've pulled this fur out. I'm just gonna fold this over now to make a little seam. And don't be worried if you catch some fur here. I'm gonna show you a trick here in a second. So you'll have a lot of fur sticking out this way. It should be going this way, but uh, we're going to fix this in a second here. So just fold it over. I've got a good, gosh, like half inch at least here seam that I want to do. And again, just a straight stitch. Pretty easy. Do a little reverse at the end. Repeat that for the second one. 
All right, now what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna show you a real quick, easy trick here. You should be able to see that this fur is stitched down a little bit. There is a stitch line. So again, we're gonna come back with this purple thing and we're actually just gonna pull the fur out from under that stitch line. So this can take a minute or two. Um, do it in little bunches. And once you've done that, it will look much better. So now our fur looks like this with the right sides coming down. The hem is at the top and I've got two of them. So I'm gonna put them right sides together and now I'm just gonna sew a hem along the edge here. So get it all lined up. You kind of got to stick the fur in there with your fingers. You could use your purple thing again if that was helpful for you. And we're just gonna sew, you know, a good size seam here on the edge. Make sure you do a few back stitches because you really do want this to stay. Really quick and easy. We're almost at the end of this project. All right, one more side to do for this. I'm gonna trim my threads off. Turn it around the other way. I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side. All right, so this is what it looks like now. We've got our stocking and we've got our cuff and we've got the seam of our cuff up here on the top. So what we need to do is we're gonna flip it so the seam of the cuff is going towards the bottom. Put my hand in it like so, and I'm just gonna put my stocking in, and I'm gonna line my stocking up along the top of the fur. So I'm gonna find a seam here for my stocking, and there's the seam right here, and here is the seam for the fur. So I'm just gonna get it all lined up here. This doesn't have to be exactly perfect. It just needs to work. And then because I've already got my um, sewing machine with the sleeve cuff open here, this is going to be quite easy. So slide this over the seam cuff of your machine or sleeve cuff, I guess I should call it. I don't even know what that's called, but one day I'll look it up. I am self-taught. <laughs> Can you tell? Don't know the correct terminology for absolutely everything and that's okay. You too can have a thriving sewing business just by busting your butt every day. Okay, so we're gonna make sure that all of the uh, fur is down here onto the end. So just a better angle. You can see I've got everything lined up here and I will do a couple of back stitches as well here. And again, if you like, this is where this would come in super handy. You can just run it along the edge to push down the fur as you go. And if you don't like this, you can always use your finger and you're just gonna go all the way around. And I've got, oh gosh, like a good, I would say three eighths of an inch um, seam allowance here. Quite easy. We're almost there. We're almost there. Round and round we go. And we're coming up to where the other um, inside of the seam meets this one. You can lay this down flat. You can use your purple thing here to pull it down flat, to push it in just so it goes through flat. And we'll just come up to the other end and we'll be done here in two seconds, guys. This is the easy part. Pushing fur cannot be your biggest problem of the day.
right, I'll just finish up and I'll show you what when it's done. Okay, there we have our Christmas stocking. So this is how it looks just after I've sewn the fur on. And again, you could take your purple thing here and pull the fur up uh, from this seam if you like. So essentially it was, um, you know, folded down like this uh, to sew around. And now we'll flip it up here. And the other thing I should mention is I was actually making these uh, for myself and I didn't put a tab on them because I wanted them to just lay on my sofa and I didn't have a place to hang them. So I didn't want a hang tag on them. But if you were doing a hang tag, you could just um, cut a piece of this fabric and gosh, like cut it two inches wide and about two and a half inches long, uh, fold it in twice, sew a seam. Um, so it's just a long piece of thin fabric. And then when the uh, fabric or the this actual stocking here, when the tablecloth stocking was put right sides together, um, you would sew your tab onto the inside, having your little tassel sticking out before you sewed the lining. Um, so you could go ahead and, and do that. So there is the third project with the tablecloth fabric. And I still have a little bit of fabric left. So stay tuned. Maybe I'll do another video. Thanks for being here, guys. And if you enjoy these videos, uh, make sure to shop the links that help support the channel and helps me employ people in the community, which is my goal. Have a great day. Bye-bye.